Namaste, welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our lower body, our legs again. And I hope uh, after yesterday's workout of chest, your chest might be a little bit, uh, I, I hope it's completely recovered or it might be a little bit sore, but that's absolutely fine. You can just massage it with your own hands, free it a little bit, maybe before going to sleep, just do a couple of uh, static stretches as I've shown either in a corner in my static stretch video or the one which I was doing with a Bosu ball or just a light broomstick with which you can do the static stretch. So yeah, I, I, if you're a side sleeper, I would suggest to do it uh, or I would recommend more to do it because when you're sitting, uh, sleeping on your sides, you're kind of in a contracted position. So after a chest day and then side sleeping, you might feel a little bit tightness in your chest and that might cause a little bit roundness in your shoulder wherein you start rounding a little bit. Add desk job to that. Uh, you might have slowly seen that if you like uh, your posture might be going into this. So that's because of chest tightness. So if your chest becomes a little bit loose, uh, not technically loose, just regains its neutral length your shoulders will roll back and you'll be absolutely fine. Uh, that's, that's all about uh, chest and its recovery. But yes, as I mentioned, today we're going to work on our lower body. So let's start with our dynamic stretches, our warm up, and then we go to our working sets. So let's begin. For our first dynamic stretch, we are going to, it's basically a stretch. Uh, so we are going to do the hip opener. So it's simple, one knee down, one foot up, foot facing outwards and then you slowly move in to that side where the foot is open and feel the stretch in your inner thigh. You, as you can see, I have no restriction in my calves. So my leg is able to move easily over my toes. My knee is able to move over my toes. So if there is any kind of restriction, you wouldn't be able to do this without your heel lifting off. So if there is, then massaging your calf, stretching your calf a little bit, would help you. So we do four to five repetitions each side. Remember this is working your hips primarily in terms of opening it up for our leg workouts. So you can uh, take a weight in your hands to exaggerate the stretch or feel more of a stretch. I felt a little bit restricted because of my pants. So. Couple more reps. Just one more. It's a little bit of restriction, but yeah, that's fine. So now we move on to our greatest stretch. So one foot up, knee down, slowly stretch your knee, uh, the leg which is on your knee as much as possible as far away as possible and then squeeze it up now go down and rotate one we will do five repetitions each side in quick progressions by now I'm very sure that you would have quite well improved in this stretch. Have you been, had you been doing this every day like me? Because your joints and your muscles will adapt, will regain the neutral length. If you do any stretch consistently on regular basis. We are done with our second. Now we move on to our third. Third is pretty simple. We squat deep. Get into a stance where you can produce the maximum amount of jump. If you want to jump, maximum amount of power. So 
yes, this is where I can jump really high. So that is the stance I am going to take and I am going to lean forward by pushing my glutes behind, feel the stretch and slowly go into a deep squat. If you are unable to go into the deep squat, go as low as possible and then come back up, try again. This time, once we go into the deep squat, we are going to put shift our body weight onto one leg at a time by just slowly leaning on. That is it, we are done with our dynamic stretching, opening up our hips and our hamstrings, our ankles. Now let us go for our warm up bit. For our first warm up, we are going to do simple uh, reverse lunges just to warm up our uh, thighs, our hamstrings, our glutes. So we are going to do 10 repetitions on each side. So just do it sideways so you can see how I do. I take a straight position squeeze my glutes, get straight and then lunge, slowly touch the floor, get up, use both your legs to get up, lunge, get up, lunge. So that is two repetitions each side, we keep going, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you can finish it off by doing few parallel, uh, parallel to floor squats. So just one, partial repetitions to get more blood flowing into your thighs. That felt good, feel warmth. So now we are done with our warm ups. We are going to jump into our working sets. So, our first exercise would be the I would like to call it the three party lunges. <laughs> so, we would be doing the three variations, which, if you remember, we have done it last time basically, reverse lunge, side lunge, and I think it is called crusty lunge. I do not know, I do not remember, but I will show you how it is done. So without any delay, let us begin. Uh, at the first lunge, uh, the first repetition, I will show you exactly what to be done. So we do one reverse lunge each side, okay. Then we do one side lunge each side, then we take one leg behind the other leg just like this, lunge, get up lunge, get up. I hope you understood. I grabbed a couple of dumbbells. You can do, do, the, uh, do it the same way or if you are not very confident with dumbbells, you can do it without any weights. Just match my repetitions. You can use straps, gloves for your comfort. So let us begin. We will go with pace. One.
Oops, that's fine. Let's keep going, let's keep pushing. Almost nearing my failure. remember how many repetitions I was able to do but that was quite challenging so let's take a short break and go for our second set so let's begin our second set huh. I know if you're tired this exercise is quite a bit of challenge so if you need take up to three minutes of break to catch your breath otherwise if you're good to go let's go First reverse lunge, then the side lunge. Let's keep going. Let's keep pushing. Ah, good. My legs are on fire. I think the 10 kilos was quite challenging. Let's take a short break and go for our set number three. Go for that. Third set, let's keep pushing. One. That's it, done with set three. Take a short break, go for our next exercise. For our second exercise, we are going to do our seated calf raises. As always, I have chosen a weight which is heavy and challenging. You can use a yoga mat or weight plates to do the same. We'll try to go as many repetitions as possible. Toes on the box, heels down, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 
19, 20, I feel the blood rushing into my calves and them getting tighter. Let's keep pushing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, put the weight down. Now we do toe races to work on our uh, tibialis muscles. I hope you can see it's simple toe races. Your heels are on the ground and you raise your toes towards your shins. Feel the contractions. While doing this exercise, you're also lengthening your calves. So it's a good super set. Keep going. Few more reps. And done. So that's set one. We take a very short break and go for our set two. Let's go for our set number two. Again, repetitions to failure. Oof. Dumbbells are heavy. I think I have placed the stepper box a little bit ahead okay shifted it drop your heels and then push one two three let's stop counting and let's just keep pushing till our calves get really tight with all the blood flow remember if you have a seated calf machine or a standing calf machine you can use that to do this exercise. It's not necessary for you to do this same setup. I just don't have those particular equipment at my disposal, so I'm using this. Let's keep pushing. Ah, yes, done. Now we do toe races. failure till you feel the tightness in your shin muscles just keep raising your toes towards the shin you might feel a little bit of tightness in your ankles but that's absolutely fine feel the lengthening in your calves too and that's it we're done with this exercise now we go for our third exercise Okay, for our next exercise, we are going to do a little bit of glute uh, targeted exercise. So we are going to do glute bridges. Now you can also choose to do hip thrust. The reason why I'm not choosing hip thrust because uh, most of you would be following this uh, routine, would be a little bit new or just starting off. And if I give you hip thrust, you'll feel more activation in your quads instead of your hamstrings and your glutes. So the best way is to do it lying on the floor. So you get most amount of glute activation, initially at least. If you're someone who's experienced, you can do it on, uh, you can do the regular hip thrust. But if not, just do the glute bridge. We have done this previously as a warm up. Simple, lie down on the floor, arms on the floor, legs placed comfortably. And slowly squeeze your glutes up and get your body in a straight line. Feel your hamstrings and glutes contract. So you just need to come straight. The moment you are straight, your glutes are contracted, your hamstrings are contracted, and you go down. That's it. We can add weight later on, but for now, we are just going to do 20 repetitions of this, slow and steady, feeling our glutes and hamstrings working. Actually, don't remember how many reps I did. So let's start counting from 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10. For some, you might feel extreme amount of hamstring activation. That's absolutely fine. Glutes will fire up. Don't worry. Remember, when you're trying to get up, don't press with your quads. Instead, clinch your butt cheeks. Clinch them together. So clinch it and you get yourself up. That's the reason it's called the glute bridge. So five more reps. And one. We are done. Take a short break and we go for our second set. For our second set, you can try adding weight. Just take a small dumbbell, place it on your hips. If not, just be comfortable like me and do it without any weights. We will move on to loaded hip thrust, loaded glute bridges later on. For now, we will focus on feeling the activation in the glute bridge and learning how to squeeze our glutes together and use our hamstrings to get up. Again, 20 repetitions. Feel your hamstrings and glutes working really hard to lift your lower body up. Forgot to count my reps again. <laughs> That's fine. We're going to do five more reps. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We're done. Now, if you want to load this particular exercise without using any weight or discomfort, you can simply only keep using one leg. So if you want to use one leg only, what I'm going to do is just pull this bosu wall or you can use a bench. It's absolutely fine. I'm going to be place one leg of mine. Actually, I'm going to do the other way so you can see it clearly. And one leg in my glute bridge position. So one leg is supported now. So now I'm going to perform the glute bridge using only one leg. So I squeeze. Now all the tension is on one hamstring and one glute. The other glute is squeezing, but it can't do much because I have taken away the control. Placing your leg on a bench would be more comfortable, but I'm using a ball here. So you just put your hands down, squeeze up. Feel a lot of hamstrings, they're working really hard. Glutes are trying to stabilize my body. So if I do to do the other side, put my other leg on a ball or on a bench and then just squeeze up. There you go. So this is how we progress without having any weight. I'm going to do a few more reps, equalize both sides. And that's it, we're done. So we're done with our third exercise. Now we are going to move on to our fourth one. So for our last leg exercise for today, we are going to do simple knee extensions, leg extensions. I have kept a good challenging weight. I'm going to use both my legs. Uh, I don't need the bar, just a little bit support. I'll pull myself into the seat and kick up. Control the eccentric motion.
Oh, that felt good. Take a short break, 30 seconds, go for our second set. Let's go for our second set. This time, we're going to try to go till failure. Kept just about challenging weight. Nothing extremely heavy or extremely light. We kick, control the motion towards down. Keep pushing. Feel your quads on fire. Ah, let's keep going. Ugh. Oh, I'm done. And that's it for our leg exercises. For our last exercise, we are going to do our regular dead hangs. Let's keep going on it till we reach our 100 second mark. So three, two, one, go and meditate. dropped that's it we're done with our exercises now let's move on to our static stretches for our first static stretch we are going to stretch our hamstring it's very simple just keep your legs straight on a bench or on a support and slowly push your glutes behind you start feeling a as you push your glutes behind you will lean a little bit forward that's absolutely fine just imagine pushing your glutes behind so your hamstring is being pulled while it's being stationary on the one end. So we hold there for 15 to 20 seconds. You can turn your leg just from left to right to shift the stretch on your hamstring. That's fine. You might find one side a little bit tighter than the other. If that's the case, you can hold on that side a little bit longer. one leg let's go for our second leg same thing face it comfortably once it's completely straight you push your glute behind lean a little bit forward and hold if you want you can turn your leg left to right to shift the stretch around your hamstring Few more seconds. That's it. Done with the hamstring stretch. Now we go for our quad. Okay, let's go for our last stretch, our quad stretch. I have done this multiple times. I'm going to repeat again. Just stand straight. Use a support, a bench or a wall. Once you're straight, take one leg into your arm and then slowly get the leg in line with the leg which is on the floor and get yourself straight, that's it. You will immediately start feeling the quads getting stretched. You don't have to bend forward, bend backwards, just stand straight. Your quads are attached at your hips. If your hips are straight, you're pulling it from the knee. So it is getting stretched. We hold there for 15 to 20 seconds. Again, here, if you want to shift the stretch, you can move left to right, that's fine. Your leg. That's one side. Now if I shift the other side, same thing. 
take the leg, stand straight, now pull it and become straight. The more straight you stand, the more stretch you feel. So if you're not feeling the stretch, that means you're not standing straight. Make sure the leg is in line with the leg which is on the floor and hold there for 15 seconds. And that's it. We are done. That's a wrap. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you did uh, like the video, workouts, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath, but that was, that means the exercise went well. So if that's the case with you, please do like the video and share it with your friends and family if you think this can help them too. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would request you to do subscribe. That gives me a lot of positive feedback and helps me keep pushing forward. Uh, today's leg workout, I try to keep it a little bit crisp by which I mean a little bit smaller, but we try to push it as much as possible. We introduced one new exercise, new in our program, but it's a usual one, nothing, uh, you know, absolutely different or some variation which I have invented. It's very easy, the glute bridge. So if you feel your legs, if you don't want to, sorry, if you don't want to feel your legs uh, sore or extremely tight in the morning, I would recommend foam rolling them tonight before going to sleep just for a minute or two or even if you don't have a foam roller you can use your hands to massage them just before going to sleep on your hamstrings your calves your quads that would definitely release some tension we did our static stretches if you feel they are not sufficient you can do them a couple more times um, you can watch the same video again or you can watch my static stretches video that's up to you there are a few more stretches also in that uh, in relation to the lower body that note thank you so much for joining me i'll see you tomorrow have a good evening